My name is Tyler Hively. I'm a content strategist at Chaotic Moon and I use a wheelchair. So I was talking with my sister who's an occupational therapist and we both realized that there is not a fitness tracker for wheelchair users. Luckily, I work at this incredible studio, Chaotic Moon, and we have the opportunity to create just mind-blowing technology. Hi, my name is Eric Schneider and I'm the hardware creative technologist at Chaotic Moon Studios. Hi, I'm Matt Murray. I'm a creative technologist at Chaotic Moon Studios. Inside the device, we have a gyroscope, an accelerometer, a barometer and hall effect sensors, which allow us to measure speed, acceleration, distance, altitude, incline, and decline. We also have Bluetooth LE in here, which translates all the information for us. As the user travels around the city, this device is continuously tracking and recording their route and gathering all this data that, when aggregated, can be applied towards terrain mapping. All of a sudden, you've mapped a city or a mountain. And all that info can be useful for anyone from hikers and bikers and skateboarders and elderly people looking for the easiest route to the grocery store. Hi, my name is Alyssa Peters. I'm an interaction designer. When you're operating a wheelchair, you don't have your hands free to look at your phone. So we tethered the device to Bluetooth and we used sound effects to alert the user of anything coming up. Wearables and smartwatches are really coming into their own right now, so we knew that'd be a really organic fit to tie in heart rate monitoring to our wheelchair device. We worked really close with Tyler to get feedback about what worked and what didn't. So a couple weeks later, uh, Base came back to me with a working prototype and an app, and I was basically just showing it to everyone that I know. Hi, I'm Ben Lamb, CEO of Chaotic Moon Studios. I'm excited today to tell you a little bit about the first ever fitness tracker for wheelchairs. At Chaotic Moon Studios, we invest heavily in R&D. Base is a place where ideas come together, where it's a combination of great software design and great hardware, and it's a place where we can really experiment and push the bounds of what's possible. And what we found is that in the market, there's a ton of fitness trackers, there's a ton of wearables, but there's not any design specifically for people in wheelchairs. I'm excited to see where BASE takes this thinking and this idea and how we can apply it to people that have trouble walking or, or how to map a city. Beyond the wheelchair community, how can these geniuses affect the rest of the world? That's, that's really cool for me to see.